every project has something interesting about it and you have to do the homework and the research. Um, but my personal favorite is definitely the Maldives. So we've done over uh, 30 hotels, 40 hotels in the Maldives. I've been to all kinds of islands way out into the Indian Ocean. So it's been quite an experience. We're currently doing um, and have been doing over the last four years, a uh, few years, uh, Four Seasons, Taj, um, Viceroy, uh, lots and lots of properties, Vela Saru, a lot of them you will not even have heard of. Um, then we are also doing GMR, so we're doing the Delhi Airport and Hyderabad Airport at the moment. We're also doing um, a couple of Hyatts um, in India, a few Shangri-Las, some Sheratons, they're sort of scattered all over, uh, a Ritz-Carlton, um, a W, so there's a whole lot of projects going on at the same time and I have a corporate team which actually works only on corporate, they don't work on the high fashion. So they're two completely different uh, worlds in a lot of ways. Right. The first project just landed in my lap, which was about 18 years ago. Um, a friend of mine called and she said, um, we have this hotel in Goa and we're tying up, this was for the Leela uh, property and we're tying up with the Four Seasons and would you be interested in doing uniforms? And I said, wow, sounds really exciting. I said, sure, I'll do it. Uh, so I went across, we had a, this was pre-opening, they were still breaking down the hotel and they were going to come up with these new concepts. Um, so I was involved in the, in the architectural stage uh, where we were looking at concept boards, meeting architects, interior designers, all of that process. Um, of course, to cut a long story short, that Four Seasons deal didn't happen with Leela. But all the same, I did the Leela and I, all the Leelas that followed. Um, and that was my first uh, sort of attempt. It's sort of uh, a marriage between the brand philosophy of the hotel that you're working for and the local cultures. So you also have to understand the local sensibility, like projects that I did in the Middle East, there are certain things you have to keep that headgear in mind. Yeah. Like a lot of women will want to cover their head. So that has to be complementary to yeah. what they're wearing. Um, or in the Maldives, there's local cultures and there's certain things that certain uh, islands are very particular about in the way they dress like they will not wear anything short they will not wear skirts or they will not wear pants so those are things you need to understand about their local culture this is the Hyatt Regency Pune and so I wanted to do something local so we did a bit of uh, homework and then we found the Varli paintings and we to use that as an inspiration again Hyatt usually likes to put blacks and greys in so the black and white is very high it but we wanted to get away from the black and white in this property that's what the brief was so we brought in the burgundy and it actually was quite strong that's the scarf inspired by the worldly paintings and that's a long jacket again it needs to be very western because it's the hyatt so we went with a gray and a burgundy story bringing in that worldly inspiration again doha as i was mentioning earlier about the head piece and so they you know that has to actually work with the rest of the garment uh, so this was of course very Middle East feel, so strong colours, so brocade, a turquoise, the red and then that inspiration came from the architecture of the building. Uh, then we added the headscarf and we did some interesting buttons and interesting footwear for them. Turned out quite nice actually. Um, so that inspiration sort of filters through everywhere. So it has a richness that the Middle East demands. The Park Kolkata. Um, now, at the, in the lobby, when you arrive in this hotel, there is a there's an art piece and there's a, a reception table, which has this sort of a graphic um, with a bit of Bengali uh, text in it, which I thought was incredibly beautiful. So we used that as inspiration, and then we brought in that Kantha stitch because that is what is Bengal. Um, so that red detailing is the Kantha stitch. Of course, it went into a print. You can't physically do a stitch for uh, you know corporate and with that kind of volume. So we did black and white with red accents and with that Kantha stitch story and that's the story sort of which filtered through.